Sup everybody, welcome to my Arduino home integration tutorial using an Android based ecosystem. Alright, so basically in this tutorial I am going to walk you through a small project I recently completed. So the purpose of this project, what is the purpose? Well, if you are someone like me, you probably have a billion remote controls that you use for your television, your satellite box, your audio system, your AC, blah 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 blah, you get that. And every time you need to turn on the fan or light or television, it actually involves you exerting yourself from inertia. Basically, take a walk. In the age of smartphones, don't you think this is highly unacceptable? So, in this tutorial, I will show you how I control everything with my Nexus 7. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I also used an app called Blue Term from the Android market to actually pair with the BTB module. Alright, so let's move on. The microcontroller board is the Indino X board, which is a clone of the Arduino Uno with a lot of extra features. Take note of the pins that will be used in this project, namely pin 16, 17 and 18. Also note the TSOP receiver as well as the IR transmitter right there. Alright, to enable Bluetooth serial communication, I use the BTB module on a ZigBee shield. So that is the BTB module and that is the ZigBee shield. That is a relay which I use to control the lights, fans as well as the TV. In order to gain complete control of the TV, air conditioning, sound system, set-top box, I needed to observe and reproduce IR signals from their respective remote controls so that I could control them remotely through this microcontroller board. That's why I needed the use of this IR LED. Finally, it was placed in a wooden box, which was a good enclosure, and uh, it provided a good means to cover this up since I wouldn't want these LEDs in my face during the night. The green lines basically lead to the loads, and the blue lines are the phase wires, which provide the phase current to the load. This photo was taken before the completion of the wiring towards the TV. The TV was wired to that particular relay right there. Alright, let's take a look at the sketch. So initially the different pin more the different pin modes were set up to output so we can easily understand what's happening right here. 15, 16, 17 and 18 are just set as the output parameters. Then in void loop we can see that the loop is initially set to accept a serial variable which arrives from the BTB module and an ASCII value enters such as capital A which is 65. In case A does enter and this equals 0 it turns pin 15 high. In the physical terms that would just mean turning on the light and similarly if A isn't equal to 0 it would just simply turn off the light. The same thing was done to the fan, another fan as well as the television. So before I go into explaining what modes are, I'd like to uh, explain that having too many ASCII values could just jumble everything up and that's not exactly what most people are looking for. So take example of this TV mode. Basically what happens right here is it initially turns on the TV, then it turns on, on the light, it sets the audio system and then it basically selects the right AV mode right there and uh, then it presses OK with the center button. After which it selects the favorite category from my remote which has a list of all my favorite channels and then it cycles through all 13 of my favorite channels with a delay of 3.5 seconds which is just enough time for me to look at what programs playing so in case I do find something great I would just select it manually and these are a couple of other modes that is the AC power mode which would just toggle the AC switching on or off and uh, well that's about it let's see all this in action then 
These are the four remotes I programmed into the Induino. And this is the Nexus 7 and that's the app Blue Term and I am setting the ASCII value A right now which controls the light as you can see. I've also left the sketch in the description box, be sure to check that out as well. ASCII values can also be sent using Google Voice. Alright, credit needs to be given to Simple Labs who are the creators of the Induino. Whenever I did get stuck, they always helped me out whenever I asked. Check them out, I'll provide links in the description down below. And I know I haven't talked about the IR functions too much in detail, but then the video will just go on and on. Kudos to the people at Ken Sheriff's blog who made recording existing or raw protocols really easy and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and comment below in case you do want future tutorials. Thank you once again and see you later.